Lopez were just gone when you got back here. Yep. They even left a note. It says they've gone off to start their own robot army. That's great. Didn't they have a non-compete clause? Also says they want us to meet them in the middle of the canyon at 0600 to discuss the terms of our defeat and or surrender. 0600. What does that mean? Isn't that when we're supposed to be surrendering to the Reds? It means 6 o'clock, right? Six, or does it mean 600? Oh, 600. Does 600 mean minutes? 600 minutes? Because that'd be, that'd be 10 o'clock. Is it 6 o'clock or is it 10 o'clock? Man, we should really get a day planner or something, because this shit's just getting ridiculous. How's it going, sir? Great. With these new color-coded instructions, building robots has never been easier. Now all the thousands of mistakes I've made in my previous efforts seem laughably obvious. <laughs> uh, except for you, Simmons. No mistakes there. Yeah, I didn't think so, sir. You're great at this. Even without any formal training or first-party certification. Son, did you just shoot yourself in the foot? Yeah, I do that now sometimes. I'm not really sure why. I'm sure it's user error. Hey guys, it's almost time. Are the robots ready yet? Just putting on the finishing touches. Gentlemen, allow me to introduce Francisco Montague Zanzibar. And this one over here is robot number two. Why didn't this one get a fancy name? Let's just say somebody has an overclocked SASPAC chip and rejected all the names we came up with. But that's okay. I can even use it to my advantage. I made some special modifications on numero dos. Check it out. Robot number two. Code word... Dirtbag. Eep. Ow! Hey! <laughs> Pretty nifty, huh? That's awesome, sir. Let me try, let me try. <clears throat> code word... Dirtbag. Ow! Okay, fine. Two can play at this game. Code word... Dirtbag. Ah, son of a bitch. But that's not the only special feature. What do you mean, sir? Well... I don't want to give anything away, but let's just say, for instance, that one of the robots contains a hidden microphone that will allow us to eavesdrop on the blues whenever we want. And let's just suppose, shall we, that the other robot contains a 10 megaton bomb. <laughs> I guess I kind of gave it away. Yeah, you kind of did. I think this is what they call the calm before the storm. I call it nap time. Which is right before food time. And then comes food nap time. That is my favorite time of them all. Mr. Caboose, I just want you to know that even though we are on different teams and we may never see each other again, whatever happens out there today, I'll always remember the moments we shared together. You are now and forever will be my friend. Private Donut? think they'll show up? Well, my gut says no, but then again, my gut's made of an advanced polymer, and it doesn't know what the hell it's talking about. Stupid gut. Great Caesar's toast! Looks like they brought out the heavy artillery! Porque están los rojos aquí. No le vamos a conquistarlos hasta la jueves próximo. That's far enough, Lieutenant McMuffin. Ah, they're lining up in flanking formation. Those blue jackals. Keep your eyes peeled, fellas. This could get ugly. Are you there, Church? Church, are you there, Church? Hey, man, I've been trying to get you on the radio for ten minutes. What's going on? Sorry, man, I'm still picking up the Reds transmissions from when we broadcast that Lopez song. There's a lot of chatter. Well, are you at least getting any useful information? Nah, it's just the same two guys bickering like an old married couple. I've only been listening for like five minutes and I can already tell they're really in love. Why can't they see it? All right. Get ready to launch Operation Circle of Confusion. Uh, Church, it kind of looks more like a triangle from down here. What? I'm just saying it doesn't look much like a circle. It looks more like we're forming a triangle. Just a side note. Okay, fine. Triangle of Confusion. Rhombus of Terror. Parable of Mystery. Who cares? Get the goddamn show on the right, road! All right, sorry. Initiating primary commencement phase. What are they talking about? Quiet, Commander Poppin' Fresh. I think they're talking about your golden flaky crust. Hello, everyone! We're here to surrender! At this time, we would like to ask for one representative slash prisoner from each group to cross sides. Hey! I think I see Lopez over there. Lopez, la pesado, no te haga 
our castle. Yep, it's him. Tell him, Big Daddy. Okay, get going, Pinky. Goodbye, Major Cinnamon Buns. I will always remember your buttery goodness. Who was that guy? Look, they're releasing Donut. Come on, Francis X, front and center. Un robo Tessa, Irene Char, Nuestros Contra Nosotros. Um, Church, do you think maybe in hindsight it was a bad idea for us to put Lopez around a bunch of robots? Just stick to the plan, Tucker. Get the first robot over there, I'll draw Lopez's fire, come on! Auto Trador. What the is it? It's a double cross! Donut! Frankie's in! Get back no! here! No! Stay where you are! Do not go back! Now the blues are aiming at each other? What the hell's going on? We've been outmaneuvered, man. Take cover. I'm calling in an airstrike. <laughs> Hello, who's there? Come in. Is that you, Private Tucker? Hello. Private who? No, Vic, this is Sarge from Blood Gold Outpost number one. Oh, hey there, Sarge. Long time no see. Sorry about that. I, uh, anyway, uh, what can we do here for you at Red Command today? I'm up to my haunches and hyenas here, Vic. I need an airstrike, and I need it on the pronto. Can do, Sarge. I will send an airstrike to target the police forces now. Of course, I'll need you to fax in the airstrike requisition form. But I can't. I had to use spare parts from our fax machine to build Simmons 2.0. Whoa. <clears throat> Excuse me. Man, that must have been something I ate. Hey, Simmons? Why is there paper coming out of your ass? What the hell, Vic? How do you know the red team? Why are you helping them against the blues? What the fuck is going on here? Private Ducker, you're on here too. Um, see, I, uh... You guys are... Uh, I gotta go. Bad connection. Wait! Vic! Vic, come in! Come in! I need you! Well, that's not gonna be very good for business. Simmons, Griff, we're out of luck. Get ready to open fire. Today is a good day to die! Wait! I think today is actually a good day to retreat. Can't we push dying to a week from Friday? Yeah, let's all take dying as an open action item and come back with suggestions next meeting. No! It has to be today! For our ancestors. Yeah! Wait, everyone! Stop fighting! Oh, it's all a lie! Go. That is true! Well, it's right! Well, all the same! Yeah. <laughs> Your radio is giving too much feedback! Shut it off! Yeah. This is fun! Yeah. Oh, damn it! Wait, Sarge, I can't hear what that guy's yelling! Lock and load! I love blood and violence! Stop fighting! Stop fighting! Guys and then ran off with Lopez. But we need 
need Lopez for very specific reasons that we don't have to explain to you. We have to get him back. Yeah, and we need to get the evil guy back. He's the only one around here that can heal Tucker. So now we're forced to work together. How ironic. No, that's not ironic. Ironic would be if we had to work together to hurt each other. No, ironic would be, instead of that guy kidnapping Lopez, Lopez kidnapped him. I think it would be ironic if our guns didn't shoot bullets, but instead squirted a healing salve that cured all wounds. I think it would be ironic if everyone was made of iron. Okay, we all agree that while the current situation is not totally ironic, the fact that we now have to work together is odd in an unexpected way that defies our normal circumstances. Is everybody happy with that? Yes, and I just finished reprogramming our teleporter to take us directly to Lopez and O'Malley's coordinates. We'll leave one member of each team so that no one can trick anyone and take over the canyon. Our man will be Donut. We will leave Corporal Chrisemwich. Caboose. And we will leave Sheila. Yeah, thanks, guys. Because, you know, if this is a trick, I'm sure I can hold her off on my own. All right, we're going to do this one at a time, then. You first, Sarge. Today seems like a good day to teleport. Geronimo! The getaway! Hmm. What's wrong? I just had a really weird feeling that I'm never going to see this place again. And that's a bad thing? Well, I didn't say weird bad. I just said weird. All right, it's Griff, right? You and me will go through together. Ready? After you. Huh. I wonder if I should have told the guys that thing I heard O'Malley say about sabotage when I was in the cave. Oh, well. Uh, hi. Stop staring at my treads, buddy. Jeez. Sorry. All right, you sons of bitches. I'm back. And I've got some... Hey, hey, where'd everybody go? Do I know you? Hey, you're the girl that killed me. Uh-oh. Prepare to surrender, dirtbag! Okay, I surrender. Now it's your turn. Not you, moron. Wait a minute, where are we? Guys? Oh, guys? Where is everybody? All right, now let's just find... Where is everybody? Whoa. Where are we? What is this place? Freeze! Drop your weapon! Uh-oh. I said freeze, dark bag! Eep. Ow! Aw, oh, come on! 